at what point in your life did you decide that you want to be a dentist? I knew I wanted to be a dentist when I was six. Why? Um, I remember I got my teeth cleaned by a hygienist and she made me feel like I had the best smile in the entire world. And I wanted to give that feeling to everyone. But you didn't want to be a hygienist. Why did you want to go straight to the I mean, top? I thought she was a dentist. Oh, you just thought like everyone who touched your teeth was a dentist? Exactly. You're like, damn, there's a lot of dentists in this dentist office. Exactly. And you do have a beautiful smile. Thanks, man. And a lot of people that don't know, Daryl has an extra tooth. You don't like it? Do you don't like when people point that out? I mean, I don't care. I think it's amazing. Thanks, man. How, how many teeth are in the mouth? 32. 30. I have 33. How does someone have an extra 33rd ter- tooth? Um, my parents. I'm a mutant. Yeah, you are. Man, X-Men. Like, is that like a normal thing to have like more teeth than normal? I mean, it's not a normal thing, but a lot of people have extra teeth. I don't think most people knew that a lot of people had extra teeth. Because you have, you have, a, you, you, yours is, you have three front teeth. Oh, man. Yeah. Don't be embarrassed by it, dude. It's <laughs> sick. You look, you have a great smile and no one would ever notice. Now everyone's going to notice. Um, <sighs> most people, you have two front teeth. Daryl has a, you have a center tooth and third. Yeah. No, my midline's fucked. That's crazy. Like, that's what, like, how does the body create an extra tooth, man? Bro, I'm just mutant. Yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, I have two penises, but that's like, I thought that was normal. One for Taylor, one for everyone else. Something like that. So you knew you wanted to be a dentist because you went into the dentist and you liked the dentistry? No, I like the fact that I don't have a boss. I'm my boss. I like the fact I could take off whenever I want. Mm-hmm. I can travel and I can afford it. Okay. So when you told your parents that you wanted to be a dentist, what was their first reaction? I'm the first person in my family to go to college. So they didn't care. Me too, really. I mean, like for, for yeah, most of my like yeah. close family, like no one went to school. Or if they did, they didn't really complete it. Oh, that's new. I didn't know that. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, I didn't want really to use my degree or anything like that. I mean, is it finance, right? Uh, business administration management. Well, you own a business and you administer people. I do, but I don't like, I don't like, unlike your degree, I don't utilize really anything I learned because I was just sucking in the information just to, just to um, like pass my tests. Ooh. So your family was super excited that you were on the path to like go to college or were they, were they like, have they have any hesitance to your like, because uh, I feel like being a dentist is like a very, like a, like a high reach. It's like most people go to college because they're like, I just want to get a job when I get out of college, but to, to have a very specific career path that maybe like, um, like, you know, you don't come from like a history of dentists or yeah, a history yeah. of doctors. Right. So it, it's not like you were like following in like the footsteps of someone where like, maybe that's not like everyone, but maybe a lot of people are like, you know, my parents are doctors. So I'm going to be a doctor. I'm going to go to dent- like, you know, be, to be a doctor. But, um, like yours was like a, like a unique path. Was there any like pushback resistance where they like, Let's go. No, no. My parents were super supportive with everything I did. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, but I paid for myself to go through college and dental school um, just because I'm just super middle class Mm -hmm. um, and my parents couldn't afford it. But like, I did well enough in school that I can do both. Walk the people through what dental school is like. It was the worst experience of my entire life. (laughs) (laughs) Why? Um, It's just a lot of. I don't even know. Like, it was just... Where'd you uh, go to school? I went, you go? Uh, I went to Howard University in D.C. Um, it was a lot of studying. I remember we would go to class from 7.30 until 5. And then I would study from 6 o'clock until 3 o'clock in the morning. And I would do it all again. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you, so you went to Ferrum first. Yeah. So you went to Ferrum, then Howard. Yeah. Okay. And how, how was... What was the difference in difficulty from... Un, was it, would it be undergrad, yeah, yeah. undergrad to graduate school? I didn't study in uh, Ferrum at all. No, like you were drinking. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So when you went to dental school, like, what was the biggest like culture shock in terms of like, uh, l- like, hey, you have to kind of, you actually got to take this shit seriously. I think it was my first test. I had a biochem exam, and I got a forty-two on it. You sound dumb as fuck, dude. Right? How yeah. did you? How did you do so bad? I didn't know how to study. So literally I thought I could just look at it and just go through and it didn't work. How long is dental school? Four years. Okay. So you you went to undergrad for four years? 
Went to undergrad for four years, and then I did uh, my prerequisites for two years at J. Sarge. Community college, that's yeah. where I went? Yeah, and then I did four years of dental school. So technically, post-high school, 10 years. You did 10 years of school? Yeah, man. God damn, dude, that sucks ass. Right? So uh, the, the guy who we met through, Paul, he wanted to be an orthodontist. Oh yeah. I don't know what his reasoning. He just I think it was I think his reasoning was literally like they make a lot of money. I think that was like his mindset but before it. But so Paul was my roommate again, Daryl's best Daryl's best friend. So that's how we met. That's how you, the name you're going to keep hearing it the podcast. Um so Paul wanted to be an orthodontist and I remember we would always walk to school and he would have the biggest struggle with organic chemistry. Ooh. Now I've never taken chemistry in my entire life. No. No, I just kept taking biology. I took How many times did you take it? I took biology one, I just took a bunch of biology in high school and then in college I took biology 101 and biology 102. I never went to chemistry. In high school my my uh my biology teacher literally told me, "Max, you're not very good at math. You shouldn't go to chemistry." Yeah. I know. She limited my dreams. Who know what I've who know who knows what I could have become? We could have owned a dental practice together. How hard is organic chemistry? Because, because okay, so the story, Paul changed his entire career path because he could not pass organic chemistry. He, he stopped, he gave up on his dreams of being an orthodontist because he could not pass organic chemistry. Yeah, and, now, and now he's a, an account manager at a staffing firm, which he loves, but I'm just saying like that one class changed his entire life, but you managed to push through it. How, like, like, what was the classes like? Something like organic chemistry? Literally, you just, organic chemistry, you just memorize. Like, you were memorized patterns. I'm really good at patterns. And it was like, this equals this equals this, and this is how you get it out. But if I looked at a chemical equation right now, I probably couldn't tell you, even though chemistry is my minor. What is... What does chemistry have to do with being a dentist? Like, why do you have to take organic chemistry to be a dentist? It weeds out people. Oh. Yeah. So it's not really the subject matter. It's more of like the complexity of it. The complexity and how committed are you? Because you, they know that you're not going to use it again, but they want to know that you're committed enough to pass it oh. and do pretty well. So how, how was like how, how was the rest of college? Like, did you find it muy difficile or muy Facile, facile. No, I mean, college was easy. It was super easy. Dental school was easy? Oh, uh, dental school was... That's what I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not talking about college, dude. That's that's. You what, said college, not dental school. Well, I'm talking about dental school. You're a dentist, dude. Okay. Okay, no. de dental school. How was dental school? Dental school sucked. <laughs> <laughs> college, facile. Dental school, ass. No, um, dental school was actively terrible. But, um, like, I don't know. It was worth it. Like, I made the best friends I've ever made in my entire life. Um, beside you, yeah, obviously. <laughs> I mean, but you were also there during dental school. Yes, um, because you moved to DC right after I did. Mm -hmm. So that made it a lot easier. So I could separate myself from my dental school friends and then just hang out with you and just be a degenerate. Okay. Now all the other um, people, it, it, your peers in class, right? Yeah. You coming from like a bodybuilding bro world and a heavy drinking world, I assume that not everyone was like that, right? In, in dental school, no. right? There's probably very, some very, uh, not like straight edge, but very people who are like, I'm focusing on being a dentist, I'm only gonna be a dentist. Well, Daryl was still going out like on the weekends and whatnot. I mean, but if you think about it, I didn't go out for the first like two years. Hmm. Like literally I would go out like probably once every month. Yeah. Right? Okay. When you were in college, did you like like walk walk the people through what dental school is like? So we would definitely we would go to class from eight o'clock to five. Um, we would have one class for an hour and a half, and class another class for uh, for another two hours. Have a lunch, go to clinic, um, work on patients. We would also have to find our patients, okay, and then diagnose them, and then like get like approvals through professors saying like, this is what I think they have. And they're like, no. Okay. What was like, what was the hardest thing about dental school? The hardest, uh, getting all the requirements to uh, graduate. What, so what does that mean? So that means like I would have to find people with uh, gum disease and then I have to treat their gum disease. And then so, so, so like actual people, like actual people, like actual people that you see on the street. Ha, ha. So a, a big part of your graduation was like, was doing literal dental work on 
like a random person on the street or like exactly. like a random person who needed dental work exactly done yeah so we would have to do like root canals on patients and we have to do cleanings on patients and then fillings and then crowns okay what was the easiest part about dental school that maybe you didn't expect to be so like easy for you getting the patients oh yeah no i mean honestly i'm sociable i guess yeah you can say that like People like me. So I would just literally just go through. Um, like I would go out at a bar and then like interact with someone. And then I'm like, hey, I'm a dental student. Do you want to come? Up? And they're like, yeah. Were these girls? Was this your pickup line? Hey, girl, you got some nasty ass gums. You want to come back to my apartment and then come to class with me tomorrow? Or their parents. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone in your family have gum disease? You Is do? It? Oh, my God. Great. Here's a shot. And then uh, I'm going to need them to come in at 7 a.m. tomorrow for my final exam. Absolutely. Okay. And then w did you, was there any point in dental school where you were like, this ain't, I, I'm not going to be able to do this? Ooh. So there was one exam, I think my junior year, and I was studying, it was like 4 a.m. And I was looking at my notes and then I saw water on my notes. And I was like, I don't understand why there's water there. And then I like, rub my face and I was crying and I was like I don't think I can do this I'm stressed out you sound like a bitch I was a bitch you were crying while you're studying bro it was the most stressful part of my entire life if you fail um a class you have to repeat the entire year if you fail a class twice you're out of dental school I never had any like I, I don't think I ever I never pulled an all-nighter in school what I never no, ev never, never, N not not once, not once. I think the latest I stayed at a at a at a um, library was like, <laughs> I had to think of the word library because I haven't been in a library <laughs> in so long. The longest I ever stayed at a library was maybe maybe midnight, maybe. I used to frequent the library until four o'clock in the morning. Damn, did you like? Did you take it super seriously, or did you like? Was there like a group of like the dental schools that are like, hey, we're gonna let's crack some brewskis and study at two in the morning. No, like I would take it ser like super seriously. And then we would have maybe five people in uh, the room that we we're at and we would alternate taking naps. So we would take like a 30 minute nap or I would take a 30 minute nap and someone would wake me up and they would take a 30 minute nap. You're not watching out for danger, Daryl. You're independently studying. Why did you have to like have sleep? Like because if no one woke you up, you wouldn't, you wouldn't wake up. Mm, okay. But you made it through. Yeah. What was it like the final exam? This is the this is the exam you're like, this is the last exam I ever take. Were you like, I'm 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 gonna crush this, I'm gonna this is gonna be the easiest thing, or were you stressed, or was it like smooth smooth sailing? I mean, at that point, like you already made it. Okay. Like this is an easy exam, you're done. Okay, so you graduated in what year? 2018. And you are officially a dentist. Yeah. Not to be confused with a doctor. I said that, but yes. <laughs> so what is your what is your official title now? I'm Daryl Tarver DDS. What does that mean? Doctor of Dental Surgery. Daryl, so so now when people introduce you, they are legally bound to say this is Dr. Tarver. Dr. Tarver. Right. So you bypass, so when you become a doctor or a dentist you bypass being Mr. Tarver and you are Dr. Tarver. I'm Dr. Tarver forever. What is going on guys? I am Max Tuning, your host. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. If you wanna see the full, magical, lovely episode, just click the link down in the description or search Don't Be Sour on your favorite podcast streaming service. And remember, thank you for tuning in.